so, um, I gave some background information in the previous highlight, but basically what happened was, uh, Korzik, the guy who currently holds the world record for is one, uploaded some... Am I showing a video preview? I don't want that. Go. Shoo. Alright. Thingy. Korzik uploaded a video, he showed off some out-of-bounds routes. And the problem with those is that while they do save time, they're really hard to pull off because they are incredibly precise in how you have to pull them off. Anyway, I screwed around for a bit in the stream beforehand, and I didn't really get anywhere because it's just, they were just hard to pull off. So I pulled them off a couple times and I was just like, oh my god, I can't do this. I've since taken a shower and tried a few more things and I just messed around with it a bit, and I found uh, certain setups that allow you to pull them off way more consistently, so I figure I might as well stream this and highlight it just so it's here, and I'll probably um, re-record this segment, or I'll re-record some sort of video in a much higher quality than this real quality stream, and I'll upload that to YouTube, um, detailing my findings. Anyway, this is just here for the sake of being here, so let's go through this. The first one, or, well, what, the first one of the two that I'm going to show off, the one that you go... There actually there are three routes basically. There's one where you go to the rotary tree early. There's one where you go get the the vase, the golden vase early, and then there's the one where you get to the mines slightly quicker. The ones for going to the rotary tree and ones for going to the golden vase are set up in the same way. So I'll just show you that setup and then I'll go show up the setup for the mines and then I'll stop streaming. All right, what you can do, the way you pull this one off, is you stand or like the way I can set it up consistently each time. So I stand over here on the side of the screen. I go as far to the right as I can and go down. And as soon as I spawn on the next screen, I don't press anything. So this is without having moved. This is like the first spawn. My D-pad is kind of crappy on this controller, so I'll try to pull it up as best as I can. Hopefully it works the first try to prove my point. Um, basically what you do is you, once you've spawned like this, or once you've moved to this part of the screen, uh, go one input to the right, and then you do your diagonally up to the right and diagonally down to the right um, combination, and that should work. Except I'm doing it very badly. Okay. Once to the right. Uh, I think that went too far. Uh, okay, that should be fine. No, okay. I think every time I press up right on the on the uh, D-pad, it's going. Kind of crazy. It just like goes right to the bit first, <laughs> like that. That's essentially what we're trying. We have to try to pull, and then boom, you're at the rotor tree. Hell yeah! All right, I'm gonna try that now with the other side. Over somewhere near the top. Alright, the second setup is up here. This one's much easier. Okay, all you do is... Th this is like a little bit of rock here. Like, right in front of me, right... Like... It's that way. Right there. There's like a bit of rock that sticks out that you can sort of wedge yourself on if you move to the right like this. Yeah, this piece of rock. If you can position yourself there... My god, see this is what I mean by my D-pad being terrible. Okay, like that. If you can position yourself like this, and then move diagonally down to the, to the left, then you'll hit that corner right where you need to hit it. And you'll do this. First try. Let's try it again. This D-pad is the worst, I hate this. I like using the analog stick more, but like the V's, this setup is only viable with a D-pad, I think. Maybe I can just use the arrow keys. I just go like this and then like that. Yeah, it's easier. I should just use the arrow keys to, to show off this trick. That's much easier. Let's go again. Woo! See, every time it works. Let's try with the arrow keys on the previous one over down here. I have to, I have to polish this up at some point. Maybe tomorrow. Alright, let's try it over here. Okay, one input to the right. There we go. See, that works. It's just this 
this D-pad on my controller is is really, really terrible. Oh man. But yeah, that's that. Uh, that's why I really wanted to uh, stream the rest of tonight. I just wanted to point those things out because I figured out how to do them. I should upload a YouTube video that just explains this a bit better. So I'm just all over the place, just doing this on a whim. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see.